Welcome to the HBR Quick Take. I'm Julie Duvall, Editor for Special Projects and Webinars, and today we're talking to Jorg Mueller, CIO of Atradius. We'll be talking about digital transformation in the credit insurance sector. Jorg, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me, Julie. I'm really excited to uh, talk with you today. Let's talk about Atradius. Jorg, what is your specialized insurance business about? Actually, we are a credit insurance uh, company. So that means we specialize on uh, trade credit insurance, surety, collection services. So uh, as a trade credit insurer, uh, we cover businesses against the risk of uh, non-payment uh, by their buyers for goods and services they sold against uh, credit terms. So we hold the world market share of um, roughly 25%. And um, as you and I speak right now, we insure worldwide trade in an amount of roughly uh, 600 billion US dollars. Why is digital transformation such an important focal point in the credit insurance industry right now? Yeah, credit insurance is a product uh, that enables trade. We manage the non-payment risk of uh, our customers uh, and we collect their outstandings on a worldwide basis. Digitalization is uh, already since years uh, our focal point um, as our customers and trade in general are more and more digital. We at Atreides uh, are in the forefront of our industry in this uh, as we connect and interact with our customers increasingly fully automated, being it in their um, trade platforms or in their internal ERP systems. Supply chains get with high speed digital and uh, our services are uh, being fully integrated part uh, of these increased levels of connectivity between companies and trade platforms. What do you think is the biggest challenge for businesses right now in their digital transformation journey? Yeah, at the end, the business success uh, will be measured um, by the business performance parameters that the digital transformation uh, is to, uh, to enable, um, like achieving more growth, achieving uh, enterprise-wide uh, competitive advantages, um, reducing costs uh, for us, it's managing risks, reducing claims, um, or the best, uh, all of these parameters uh, at the same time. I observe that many enterprises have successfully developed and deployed, um, even sometimes scaled uh, digital initiatives and capabilities, but the challenges for real digital transformation go much deeper than that. Um, clarity on the continual development and execution of the digitalization strategy is really key here. Um, we need the whole business to understand and drive the change towards that digital future. And for this, um, a full company-wide digital uh, transformation program is really key. Um, often the te technology is not the limiting factor, uh, but to increase the maturity on the uh, digital transformation and the company-wide core capabilities um, is a um, real important uh, um, aspect. You need business architectures, business capability models, uh, multiple scenario teams, uh, and the ways of working fully adapted and changed towards this uh, digital future. So how has the COVID-19 pandemic and the transition to remote working impacted digital transformation in the credit insurance industry? So in general, the uh, credit insurance industry was very much impacted by COVID-19. Uh, as we enable global trade, um, uh, which significantly de uh, declined due to the pandemic. Um, remote working itself for us was not a real problem um, after we overcome the first weeks of um, uh, enablement to all our staff to work permanently from home. But to service our customers, to manage together with our customers the risks of their national and international trade parameters um, during the pandemic and to always be close in, in collaboration with our customers was one of the challenges uh, that we needed to, um, uh, to manage and uh, the key to our success in order to manage uh, through this uh, difficult period. So as a global organization with over 3,500 employees around the world, how do you make sure that you're striking the right balance between digital efficiency and hands-on experience? For us, this is a key challenge um, as we have to manage vast amounts of uh, credit transactions every day and that in a highly automated and secure way because our customers don't have time to wait for, for credit decisions. 
So the high level of automated straight uh, through processing of all our core services um, and the processes combined with our capabilities in managing vast amount of data with our knowledge based systems is key for our customers um, and we measure uh, these services in very much granular detail. Um, when we aim to automate end-to-end -end, uh, processes to the highest level, our core process throughputs, uh, this is to focus um, the valuable time of our experts uh, to service our customers and to enable their trade and manage their risks. So uh, it goes together, highest level of automations with uh, enabling skilled workers uh, for servicing and, uh, and risk management to a larger, largest extent. So you mentioned measure. How do you think businesses should go about measuring their progress in their digital transformation? Uh, as I mentioned already in the beginning, the, um, the real digital transformation measures need to be about the business outcomes um, that are to be digitized uh, in a business like ours um, and many others as well, revenue growth, uh, the management of risks, claims, uh, customer service, and as well the operations. Um, but additionally to this, the uh, transparency of the status of the digital initiatives uh, and their outcomes are key. Uh, so along with the enterprise-wide digital transformation journey. Um, there are many tools out there that uh, can help to provide the transparency, but most important is the clarity of the business parameters to be achieved and the visibility over the execution status of the digital in initiatives. This is, includes as well dashboards that provide insights into backlogs, resource utilization, delivery statuses, and, and many more. What are your thoughts on selective digitization as a way to see quick outcomes? Yeah, learning from quick outcomes and uh, experimenting is really important. And um, actually it's part of the journey towards uh, becoming a digital business. But in my experience and in our business, an early path for scaling and operationalization should be set once these experiments uh, show potential so that there is a fit with the overall business transformation journey. Um, for our company, we have decided to have a clear roadmap uh, for the business transformation uh, we are currently undertaking, and we put our focus and energy into this chosen path. So how can companies frame the internal conversation around how to nurture their employees' digital skills? That's a really important question. I think the digital transformation success um, starts and ends with the employees and the digital skills you have. You have. So continuous learning, especially in IT, but not only in IT, is these days even more important than it has always, always been uh, in the past. New te technologies and capabilities uh, um, are made available in ever increasing pace, um, but as well for the business community to keep up with the pace of change, uh, continuous learning is most important. We at Tradius, uh, we have already since years created forums, which we call the uh, Digital Ambassador Forums, um, with uh, technically minded staff um, from all over the world uh, who have different forums to liaise, exchange, bring new ideas, and to enable our corporate digital transformation, uh, as well as locally to be the ambassadors in their own countries and uh, units. What about customers? What does this shift mean for them? Yeah, I think every industry, every business is, is there is difference. Um, we are servicing Fortune 500s as uh, we do service uh, small companies uh, in regional areas in, in um, uh, smaller industries. So it depends on the maturity of our customer in their own digital journey. And we have to be able to service uh, all of them, you know, the highly automated um, uh, um, throughputting of uh, um, processes with our customers, as well as the ones that are not yet that mature. Um, at the end, the mega trends in terms of connectivity uh, across the world are there. All our customers will, will be impacted by that. Um, but we have to um, be able to service um, all customers, meaning the mature ones, as well as the ones that are um, slightly lagging behind. What advice do you have for CIOs and other IT leaders currently leading digital transformation initiatives within their organizations? That's a great question. Uh, I would say uh, enjoy the ride and uh, trust in your people. 
um, it's a great opportunity for CIOs around the world uh, and the digital leaders in, in general to enable their organizations to thrive uh, them into a bright uh, digital future. So it's a great, great challenge, but as well a superb opportunity. So for everybody who uh, enjoys digital outcomes, um, this is the moment to be in this kind of role. Well, Jörg, this has been a great discussion. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me and I wish you a great day. To learn more about Atreides, visit atreides.com.